Hello there, Crafty Crandall here, and today I wanted to do a fun video wherein I design some bookmarks based on the Poppy War series. Now, I would like to promise this by saying I have not read The Burning God yet. It is on my TBR, it is the next book that I will be reading, and I am so excited to read that hopefully this week. But I wanted to design a series of bookmarks surrounding this series because I thought that it was kind of a, a fun series that had some really intriguing covers and artwork and just kind of a an aesthetic feel about it as a, a written series. So without any further ado, let's hop right into the design process, shall we? Okay, jumping right into this bookmark design. I chose to design these bookmarks because I love having my own custom made bookmarks and I really wanted to do so for the Poppy War because as I said I think that it is a really inspiring and aesthetic series although I have not yet finished The Burning God. So the leftmost bookmark is going to be for the Poppy War, the middle bookmark will be for the Dragon Republic, and then the final bookmark will be for the Burning God. Although I have not read it, I can at least put something into bookmark form so that I have a visual representation and can perhaps even use this bookmark for reading said book. <laughs> I am using the Canson XL watercolor paper and I am sketching with a Prismacolor Cold Erase colored pencil. I will be using my Snellier watercolors to do the painting. Now the first one that I did here is of the Phoenix and I made the phoenix rising out of a book because of the um, focus on education at the beginning of the poppy war and rin's journey from you know having to learn and study for the exam such that she can get into the school and then obviously the phoenix more so pertaining to the second half of the book wherein she is acquainted with the phoenix through her her teachings the second bookmark has more of a structural castle at the bottom and then a wave of water at the top. Um, this should be pretty clear if you've read the book as to why. I obviously don't want to spoil anything, but the second book is really focused primarily on war. And so this is uh, really just kind of nodding my head at that. And then the final book, uh, I again haven't read it, so I can't actually speak to the representation as it relates to the book. However, um, post Dragon Republic, I do feel like it was nodding toward kind of a, I don't know that you would necessarily call it a battle or a war, um, but I think that there will at least be some form of interaction between the Dragon God and the Phoenix. So that is what I tried to portray here. And for each of these bookmarks, I tried to keep them pretty consistent with the color scheme of the cover. Now, I had seen both a yellow and a purple cover for The Burning God, but uh, me being the purple lover that I am, I decided to go with the purple color for that bookmark. As far as the painting process is concerned, I started with the middle bookmark because I felt that it would be the easiest to start with and I was interested to see um, how well I could paint the wave that I was trying to portray. Unfortunately, this is where the underpainting kind of mm, didn't help me. Uh, the sketch definitely showed through the underpainting, so we'll address that later. But my first step is just to lay down some base colors and try to, um, you know, see what colors I'm going to end up going for. Now, I did obviously tape off the edges, so I did plan to make these as, um, you know, full color uh, with a white background bookmarks. So I did not start with the background, I started with the foreground elements and will paint the backgrounds after the fact. I went in and added some more details for the phoenix here and I ended up um, really trying to just make a couple of different shades of red there for the details of the phoenix and then moved on toward uh, painting some of the wing details which were admittedly a little bit more difficult to get some contrast into because I was trying not to use you know any inks or anything I really just wanted these to be painted obviously this is just personal preference uh, I would suggest if you are going to do the same thing that you figure this out in advance as to what uh, materials you want to use and that sort of thing as it really does help to have some form of planning going into these uh, admittedly I didn't do as much planning as I necessarily should have but 
I think in the end they turned out okay. Uh, here you just see me finishing up, <laughs> finishing up with the wings that, uh, again, didn't come out the best. Uh, this is where my sketch really should have probably explored the wings a little bit further. But again, I mean, these bookmarks are just for me and just for personal use in books to mark my page. So while I do absolutely love to have, you know, custom bookmarks that are really personalized for me, um, you know, they don't need to look perfect. <laughs> I do think that these would make a really cool gift. Uh, I know that I'm using these for my own personal books, but if I were to, you know, make something for someone regarding a book that they really love, I think that would make a phenomenal Christmas gift or holiday gift, birthday gift, etc. for the general book lover in your life. If you happen to know what their favorites are or if you follow them on Goodreads and can look up what their five-star reads were, I think that making them a custom bookmark pertaining to that book or that series would be such an awesome gift. I know that I would love to receive something like that from someone. Uh, and, you know, it can also be just a really fun way to kind of test out your artistic skills. Plus, it's a great way to get creative as a book lover and really kind of show your love for both, you know, the person that you're making it for and also for books in general. At this point, you see me starting to kind of add some more details into the wave as well. Um, this one was definitely probably my favorite part of the process. I really liked kind of formulating the water and trying to gain like a gradient in the middle. And then I added some fresh water just to the end to make it look more wave-like. For the dragon, I went in with a flat purple wash over the entire dragon. Uh, just trying to, you know, again, utilize the purple of the cover, uh, even though, you know, I have no idea if the dragon is actually portrayed as purple, as we haven't really, m we've met the dragon god in, as far as Naja's character, but I don't know that I know en enough about it to <laughs> accurately portray it at this point. Uh, hopefully once I've read the book, I will actually understand what uh, what those specifics are. But yes, flat wash of purple and then an overwash of more like dark colored blue to try to make the underbelly of the dragon a lighter color. Uh, this one was particularly fun as well as I kind of really liked how the colors came out on it. <laughs> I am a big sucker for again purple and also for a nice dark purple blue. For the phoenix, I retained the same colors as on the Poppy War bookmark for just, you know, continuity's sake. <laughs> I don't think I would ever be actually using these bookmarks at, you know, the same time, so I don't know that it actually matters if they're congruent, but uh, just, you know, for having them displayed out on my bookshelf, I think that it makes more sense like that. <laughs> At this point, I am just finishing up with some finalized details for the phoenix, um, for the castle structure, for the secondary bookmark, and then just some, you know, other little details here and there. And then I'm going to be starting the backgrounds for each of the bookmarks. Now, I kind of struggled in picking my background colors for these for... You know, each of the books, they had a very distinct, like, one color uh, on each cover. And so, I kind of wanted to keep with that, but also, you know, I, I couldn't just paint the background the same exact colors that I had already used. So, for the Poppy War bookmark, I kind of decided that I wanted a warmer background to kind of offset the, um, you know, the book and kind of look like fire <laughs> for the wave i chose a stormy gray background because i thought that that would look really cool i even tapped some water onto it to make a nice little stormy cloudy effect and then for the final bookmark i ended up just going with like a softer purple although looking back on it i do think that that was a poor choice if I were to do this bookmark again, I think I actually would have omitted the phoenix entirely and just stuck with the dragon and then done more of like a gold background, which I think would have looked really cool. But anyway, I do like how they turned out in the end and I am happy with them. I think that this would make a fantastic gift idea again or just a really fun bookish project for you to do in your own time. 
uh, everyone who I know who reads books tends to use bookmarks. So, you know, you can never really have too many. <laughs> and again, it's just a really fun thing to do. So if you give it a shot, please let me know. You can always tag me on my Instagram at Crafty Crandall, uh, or you can send me a DM there and I would be curious to see what your bookmarks look like. And uh, other than that, I hope that you guys had a great day. I will shut up now so that you can enjoy the rest of the bookmark process and see the final products. Thank you guys so much. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I do really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. I really appreciate your time and watching and let me know down below in the comments which bookmark is your favorite and whether you'd like to see more of these book and art related videos that are kind of merged together into one. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Bye! <laughs>